Good morning. It is December the 6th. We're at East Elementary and we're coming in from a dismal rainy day outside. And the weather has reminded me that we are coming into a season when we may be making weather adjustments. And so I want to assure you that we will have crews out every time that it is necessary and we will do our best to make weather adjustments the evening before they're actually going to happen. We will also try to alert you that we see some things coming with weather warnings like they do perhaps at the television stations and places like that. I just want you to know that we're on top of it, but make sure that you're paying attention to social media and perhaps to our Facebook page and think, well, that wouldn't be social media, our, our web page, so that you would see if something is coming and so that you can find out as quickly as possible if we're making a weather adjustment. Winter is nearly here. Uh, I expect for us to be making calls like this, hopefully after Christmas, but not too far into the distant future. Uh, speaking of things that are going on around us right now, I just want to bring you up to date on some events that are happening this week and next week as we enter into the holiday season. And there are things like concerts that are going to happen and ball games. As a matter of fact, this evening, December the 6th, beginning at 6 p.m., our basketball teams open at home and they're facing Blue Ridge. I would encourage you to either go to the game or for this particular set of games, you could watch it on the Maroon Devil Network in the uh, comfort of your own home. Tomorrow, which is Wednesday, December 7th, our Swain High Drama Group will be performing the nine worst breakups of all times and that will be at 6 p.m. in the Arts Center. So perhaps you would like to see some holiday drama and you could do that on Wednesday evening. Thursday evening, our band will be performing their Christmas concert. The admission is free for that. It starts at 6 p.m. and that also is in the Swain Arts Center. On Friday, the students at West Elementary are going to be presenting their Christmas programs in two parts. Now at six o'clock, the kindergarten through the second grade are going to be performing. And at seven o'clock, the third grade through the fifth grade are going to be performing. I would encourage you to attend either or both of those. Um, I need to tell you that they are requesting $5 for an admission fee on that, but if you have a student who is 10 years old or under, they don't have to pay anything at all. They get in for free. Now that's at the Arts Center, but right next door at the gym, at almost, ex actually at exactly the same time, our wrestling program will be hosting a wrestling meet against Smoky Mountain and also Cherokee. It starts at six and it will last on into the evening. If you want something that is incredibly exciting, I would encourage you to go to that wrestling match and to participate there. Now, with all of that happening on the campus of the high school at the same time on Friday, parking is going to be a concern. I would encourage you to get there early and find the best spot that you can. And then if you go to the musical presentation, perhaps uh, even the six o'clock one, that as soon as it's over that you leave so somebody else might can have your parking space. Just let's take care of each other that way. I would appreciate that. Now on Saturday, at six o'clock, again at the Arts Center, there's going to be a dance recital that feature the students in our Swain Arts Enrichment Program. Laurie Bailey and her team have done this for years and it's always an amazing event. So if you don't have something for Saturday evening at six, go to the Arts Center and uh, participate as a, as a audience member in that dance recital. The events continue into next week. There will be more ga basketball games and there will be wrestling matches as well. But the middle school band will be performing on Tuesday evening at 6.30. That's the only one of these that happens at 6.30. And it's at the Arts Center as well. And I would encourage you, if you could, to be part of that too. There are always things for you to participate in during the holiday season and we will do our best to get back with you next week and to provide some more um, introduction or information about those events. Now we're here at East Elementary um, and we're here not only because it's a wonderful place to be but because uh, tragically um, the staff here has experienced the loss of a student in in the past week or so and we want to send our condolences to the family of that student and also to the siblings 
of that student. And, and we're choosing intentionally to not mention names there uh, for a lot of different reasons. But, but primarily we want to honor the fact that this is still uh, very difficult for that family and for uh, those siblings to walk through. And, and we want to give them the privacy that I believe that they deserve. But at the same time, I would ask that you would remember that family in your thoughts and prayers. And if you would also please remember the staff here at East Elementary. As any time a staff loses a student, it is exceptionally difficult on them. Our staff care so deeply. And so when we found out about this loss, uh, it was a difficult moment in their lives, in, in all of our lives. And our teachers and our assistants and, and all of our staff, in fact, at East are still grieving. So please lift them up in your thoughts and prayers as we uh, go through this, this holiday season. You know, I, I think that that's the best place to end today. I will get back with you again next week. Uh, thank you for being part of our family, for being part of our school system. And thank you for caring about our staff and for taking them in your thoughts and prayers today. So until the next time, God bless you and have a great day.